All right, Pisces, what up? Let's see what messages we have for the Piscean Collective. Today is October 15th, 2024. All right, Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high, you are welcome into this reading for the sign of Pisces. One sec, y'all. <laughs> All right. So you guys got the table. Hard work ahead. Um, you got the butterfly here in the stork. A change for the better and news of a birth or new business opportunity is also here. I did see the angels, spiritual guidance, and protection from harm. Okay. You got the peacock. Beware of great pride. What else, please, for Pisces? All right, one more, please. For some of you guys, you may have someone trying to come back and reconcile with you, especially around uh, the full moon, which is sometime soon. I don't know, but I know it's soon. Um, and this may be a reconciliation that gets declined. Or if you're trying to reconcile with someone. Oh, shit. Full moon's on the 17th. Okay, so some of you guys could have either someone coming back trying to reconcile with you. Um, and they may be doing this in a way. Uh, I've seen someone will try to make you do something against your will. Reconciliation. And then the moon card. And then i also seen... Um, oh, it's still there. Well, I'll be damned. Oh, and the broken wishbone, a wish will not be granted. Yeah. So some of you guys may be having a reconciliation, whether it's a friend, a lover, whoever it may be. And you got the frying pan, trouble accusations. Okay. So let's see, why is the table here for Pisces? These cards are already shuffled. So let's get into it. Show me hard work ahead for Pisces. The hair font, Taurus energy, damn, ten of cups, three of swords, and the world, and the, damn, and the ten of cups again. Damn, that's crazy, because that's like kind of going along with what I was just saying, hard work ahead. So someone here may be looking at a situation like it's their ten of cups, there could have been some type of heartbreak within a family dynamic, a marriage, a commitment. Um, but with the world and the three of swords being here, I feel like someone, this can be like something that is over. I got two tens here. I got multiple tens here. Hard work ahead. Tell me about this world card. I feel like someone is now like, Tell me about the world. The world. Again. Literally. Spirit. You got jokes today. Alright. And the Ace of Swords. Well, that could be a new beginning. A breakthrough. Okay. So tell me about the Three of Swords. It could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And then it's heavy on the Capricorn energy. I feel like someone is wanting to come in and someone here is wanting to lay down some type of new plans. Um, someone is showing up consistent. This is someone who I feel like you've had a close cycle with, unless this is someone who's closed a cycle of their own, but excuse me. Why is the devil here? Why? The lovers. Oh my. Page of Cups and Four of Cups. I 
I don't know, Pisces. Some of you guys are dealing with the Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, maybe significant. Taurus is here. Oh, I already said that. Some of you guys feel like this is a karmic relationship. Some of you may feel like someone's attached to someone else or there was some type of third party influence or choices that were made that... Um, I don't know, Pisces. I feel like someone here is trying to like hold on to a part to a soulmate connection, possibly. But whatever cup is being offered or apology is being given here, I feel like someone is just not interested in it. Like someone is not interested in whatever this cup is that someone is offering. Show me a change for the better. A change for the uh, the Empress. Taurus Libra and energy. So there's some type of fertility. Damn, or growth here with the three of swords again, yo. Who broke your heart? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not funny. But and I'm not laughing at that, I'm laughing at my impressive singing skills okay so there's a this is showing up as a feminine energy who i feel like feels justified in holding back someone here is focusing on their healing because something here caused a lot of emotional pain a lot of sadness a lot of grief a lot of heartbreak someone here is what's changing for the better though because you got justice the strength the star you got a bunch of major arcanas here hmm Yeah, I feel like someone here is star card. This is like someone who's feeling like on the upswing of something like the pain is still there. It's a lower arcana. But someone here is healing and they've brought balance into their life. They've overcame, you know, whatever these obstacles are, whatever was hurting them change for the better news of a birth or new business opportunity let me see what the heck here the sun literally could be news of a pregnancy the sun and the wheel of fortune aquarius leo scorpio taurus energy or this is some type of good luck yeah death card that is up with all these major arcana scorpio energy something here is changing i feel like someone here is adapting News of a birth or new business opportunity. Judgment. Someone here is like, Pisces, if this is your reading. So you, news of a birth or new business opportunity. What does that have to do with this spirit? Because judgment is some type of a rebirth and awakening some type of a renewal here again i feel like there you have been challenged you pursed or you purse or beard okay there's some type of a change here that you're adapting to you um Wow, what does this have to do with this? I feel like, sorry y'all, I'm like, my daughter gave me a cold. And so sorry for like the nose, but. Um, I feel like you've already like made a judgment call. You've made a decision about something here. And I feel like you're standing strong in whatever it is that you believe in, whatever it is that you're standing up for. I feel like you've had to like adapt to whatever change this is in your life 
This is like you having to adapt to some type of a major change or ending or rebirth or whatever in your life. And now... I don't see you backing down. I feel like you standing... I see you standing firm on what it is that you believe in. You're answering the calling. This is almost like you are following your higher self. And it's and it's bringing in some type of success, maybe even attention or recognition, or maybe you're stepping into a leadership role. I don't know. I feel like someone here is gaining their confidence back, their inspiration. Someone here is starting to feel strong within thyself after some type of heartbreak. But the heartbreak, the pain or whatever is still here in a sense. But somebody's like, it's like some where someone is going, what someone has overcame, like how whatever someone's had to do to get to where they are is more empowering and inspiring than, hmm, I don't know if that's the right way to say it, is more like empowering or inspiring than whatever pain it is. So it's almost like I forgive, but I don't forget type energy. I just almost feel like you guys now there's someone here seriously trying to hold on to a connection coming in wanting to offer some type of stabilities maybe making new plans maybe communicating you know um It's, I don't know if this is like too little, too late, but hard work ahead. It's like, I don't know if somebody's going to be able to break through somebody's walls. I don't. Yeah, someone's not interested in something anymore. This is like when something is seriously like completed, like this isn't even like whoever I'm talking to. I feel like this is something that like you've already came to terms with something being done and over with and whatever. Tell me beware of great pride. Ten of wands, ace of cups. I just feel like someone here is trying to hold on to something, wanting a rebirth, wanting a new beginning in love. And someone here is feeling extremely weighed down or burdened or someone here feels like even <sighs> like someone may feel like they just want to hold back, move forward and invest and plant seeds, you know, focus on what it is that they're invest. I just feel like some something is over, y'all. And then... It's like something's coming back in like a really good energy, kind of. There is a little bit of like either karmic -y or someone trying to possess or maybe even control. And I feel like the other person is like holding back. Like this Ten of Wands, Ace of Cups, this new love or this Ace of Cups is... A lot of work. It's burdensome. It comes with baggage. Maybe someone just wants new love and they're holding back and moving forward and focusing on what it is that, you know, they want for their long-term trouble accusations. The sun, the eight of cups. Someone could try to expose somebody if they walk away or... Trouble accusations. Expose somebody for what? 
I swear my rabbit is a dog, y'all. Nine of Cups. See? So you go from the Sun to the Eight of Cups to the Nine of Cups to the High Priestess. This is your energy, Pisces. Eight, Nine Cups and the High Priestess. Leo energy is here as well. But I see you walking. You leaving something behind. Because you've healed. The sun is here. This is like you're you've already emotionally disconnected from something. You found emotional fulfillment within thyself. Trouble accusations. What the hell is someone accusing someone of? Like, what is this about? The Knight of Wands. What about it? Hmm. Someone here could be trying to accuse you of sleeping with someone. So sleeping with someone else. Or maybe someone thinks that you're interested in someone else. You're talking to someone else. You're messaging someone else. And that's the reason Eight of Cups, why, you walk, why you're why you walking away. But I don't think that's why you're walking away. I think, I mean, you guys heard what I just read. Yeah, someone here thinks that like there's other people who are competing or you're giving to someone else or you've someone thinks that the reason trouble accusation so someone here could be like trying to yeah someone here just doesn't have the fucking facts i guess someone here doesn't have the facts and they're just trying to say whatever because they're that's probably that devil energy Tell me about the Ten of Cups and this hair phone up here. Oh my God, this is like somebody showing up with some type of opportunity, consistency, like somebody wanting to be, uh, like somebody wanting to be practical and disciplined and an offer a commitment, a happily ever after, blah, 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 blah. But it's like, how does this empress feel about this? How will this empress feel about this? And don't get caught up on the gender, y'all. Oh, oh, oh. Five of wands, five of swords, and the moon. Yeah, you don't. <sighs> Whoever the empress is in this energy, it feels like this is either their intuition is telling them that this is drama or someone's just trying to compete with you or um, the moon again Pisces cancer energy got the moon here twice someone feels like there's secrets there's secret competition someone feels like someone is like i don't know i don't like that energy though the empress Hmm. Someone, whoever the, I don't know, whoever this Empress energy is, feminine or masculine, feels like their hap their happiness, their soulmate, their, I have the Queen of Cups over here, then I got the Six of Swords, Four of Wands, King of Cups. Someone feels like they, like, I don't feel like someone knows where they're going, but they feel like there's someone who is more equally matched elsewhere like king queen of cups four of wands someone feels and that's what this part the queen of cups is going this way in search of doing some type of soul searching searching for their wish fulfillment and then i just asked how this empress feels about this and again it's like someone feels like the unknown like it's like they're searching for something or they don't know what they're searching for but they're curious because they feel like there's something 
that is more stable, secure, emotionally secure, whatever elsewhere. Whoever this King of Pentacles devil energy is showing up here with the lovers doesn't have to be an earth sign with the three of swords, page of cups and the four of cups here. I feel like someone's just not really interested in what this person has to offer. Someone feels like this is a karmic relationship. Someone may feel like someone tries to control someone with money or someone just feels like there's too much pain and heartbreak or there's too much fear because of some something that has happened here. You have the three of swords here, the three of swords here. There's something that has happened between these two that has caused pain. Could have been a third party, could have been bitchiness, bad mouthing. I don't know what the hell, but the devil is here. It's like there's some type of temptation or uh codependency or control. Um yes, maybe it is a soulmate connection with the lovers here, but I feel like it's karmic with the devil. The devil and the lover, I don't know. You feel like this is a toxic connection. Like maybe it's even built on lust. The devil can talk about tempta temptation. So can the lovers. Like someone may feel like this is, or maybe someone here, you know, carries, maybe you feel, someone feels like this masculine or whoever is very tempted by other stuff, you know, or maybe they went looking at other options. Maybe this is someone who rejected you. I don't know why I'm yawning, y'all. It's morning. <laughs> and I slept good last night. Um, Not that you guys care, but... <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like someone here has gone through a change. Someone here has adapted to whatever this change is. Or whatever an ending was. Like, someone has already, like... If these two had a family, had a marriage, had some type of commitment, or maybe even mm, I guess there could have been distance. Maybe they were committed at a distance. I don't know. But I strongly feel like someone is just like I've already adapted to this change. The star, it's like I'm finally feeling balanced. I'm finally feeling inspired or healed or just I'm feeling this very like balanced, um, inspired. It's, I'm feeling stronger. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better about myself. I'm feeling better about a lot of things. I've adapted to whatever this change or this transition is. And now somebody wants to come in and like... I don't know what the hell they're offering. Ace of Pentacles, some type of a new beginning. Now you want to come in and put in the work and be consistent and be reliable and have a happy family and you want to make plans. You want to communicate. You want to have honesty. You want... It's like someone who's showing up trying to be diplomatic and... Um, the hair font too talks about conforming. So I don't know if this person is... Didn't I say that? A reconcili- Oh my god. I just literally realized that. Remember the cards that I seen? Something about the full moon and someone trying to make a reconciliation, trying to make someone do something against their will. And then I seen the broken wishbone. A wish will not be granted. Oh my god. That literally summed up this reading, y'all. Ain't that some shit? Yeah, I almost feel like someone's trying to offer something that someone can't com can't refuse. But with the hair font being here, that can talk about like someone trying to get someone to conform to like their narrative of the Ten of Cups. But I feel like this is already over or the world and the Three of Swords. It's like this is someone's already like restarted their life in a different way in a different energy now this person may be coming back seeing this person as an empress or an emperor whatever like seeing someone's value seeing someone's worth like oh my god you're you're and you're so balanced and you're so inspirational and and strong and look at you you're just amazing and i i'm ready to offer you commitment it's like uh no i've already like i'm good i'm good bro sis i'm good 
<laughs> and this person's saying, oh, what do you see in someone else? You sleeping with someone else? You interested in someone else? Is that why you're, is that why you're walking away? And it's like, no, I'm walking away because I'm fucking happy. Okay. <laughs> I'm walking away from my own emotional fulfillment. I've healed. I've grown. Yeah, I feel like someone's holding on to like their vision of a long term. Like someone here has already made like what a, whatever. Okay, someone here has already adapted to something and they are good. And then this person comes back like trying to do something. The devil and the lovers. I don't know if someone could even be trying to force somebody into a relationship and someone's like trying to apologize and oh, I missed an I feel like I missed an opportunity or I'm so sorry. I was looking at other options or this is just somebody coming in and, you know, expressing something to you in this page like energy and you're just like not interested. No thank y'all. I'm not interested in the in the illusion, in the conflict, in the confusion, the unknown. I'm tired of looking into the unknown. All I see is fucking conflict and I'd rather not try to. This is like, because the Page of Swords is like curiosity. Sorry I'm talking too much about this. I feel like you guys already get the point and it is what it is. But I feel like when you look at this situation, you feel like it comes with a lot of fear. It's like there's, you can't have oh let's eat be married and happy after like when you look at a situation like this you would rather go into the unknown and take your fucking chances because there's an energy here that i feel like you've already you already see or you've already you know what it's capable of. i mean more so like you don't know what it's capable of but you know it causes conflict or there's too much, like, problems here. Okay. Anyways. Um, let's get a few Moonology cards. This could be happening around this full moon, y'all. 17th, October. You know, time is fluid. Could be before, could be after. But you got a fiery climax approaches. Oh, shit. What is that? Full moon in Aries. Are we having a full moon in Aries? Or... Okay, work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. And emotions are running high and you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo on the bottom of the deck. Let me say something. How your boss is. Is this a full moon in Aries? It's going from Aries to Taurus. All right. Pisces. So this, yeah, this fiery climax could be approaching. We're going from Aries to Taurus for this full moon. So y'all let me know in the comments how this reading resonates with you. If it did, if it didn't, let me know. Put your energy up in here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.